Hello everyone, Paddy here, and it is not Lego, but a change. We've had these things sat in a bag for a very long time, so uh, depending on which order they go up, Jo will either have just done a video on her Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Diamond Selects, or it will be the next video that goes up. However, Diamond do another range, which is called Vinnie Mates, or their smaller version, Mini Mates. These are kind of Lego minifig-esque characters. Uh, they're mostly done for the ranges that don't sell well in uh, Marvel and other in the other franchises they've got license to. Strangely, they did a batch for they did these. They did these mini mates for the Doctor Strange film, but they didn't do any diamond selects, which was odd. Uh, maybe because these are cheap to make, but. We found a bunch of them in a shop for cheap, so we've got a full set of Doctor Strange ones and some random uh, Wolverine ones. So let's open these up and take a closer look. So we'll start over here with some boring ones. Uh, right, box number one. This is. Hi. So you co it comes with I'll try and remember to put these on the speed disc. Doctor Stephen Strange. So this is pre him going to uh, the Forgotten City and learning from the uh, the ancient one. Ways of magic. Um they do have interchangeable parts, so in this case, you can pop off his coat. Come on, come on. Off you go. Take off his head. Back on. And back. Should be for throw there. Yep. And then give him his. Grey arms. I put his arm on the wrong way around. There you go. That arm on the wrong way. But yeah. Anyway, I'll put him back to where he was. So you've got interchangeable arms, he's got a backpack while he's wandering around. But I think he looks better. Minus his head. The way we, the way he comes out of the box, the nice long jacket. I just realised his ears are moulded into his hairpiece. I thought it was when he took the hairpiece off. And his hands are all painted with lines to note the uh, the stitches. Oh, then. Yeah. It's both impressive and disturbing. He comes with Dr. Christine in a white lab coat. She's got some interchangeable arms so that you can take her out of the lab coat and put her into the into the plain ordinary uh, scrubs. She's a bit boring, she's just a human. When it comes to uh, Marvel characters, you don't care about the humans. They're just, they're just the cannon fall. I can't just throw it on the floor. Put pieces in it. And you go there. You go there. Uh, let's go. Uh, we'll save that one for last. This one. No, that's interesting. This one. So, this. Opening the box up. Yeah. Bye bye, book. Is less uh, configuration with this one mainly because you can't really do much with one. He's bald. Uh, it would have been good to give him the Wonder Woman tomb, which I'm disappointed that they didn't. But uh, as far as one goes, that's not a bad, not a bad version of one. I guess I've seen worse. I've seen much worse, to be fair. 
And we have Runaway Random Zealot. So this is just one of uh, Kaecilius' followers. And Ava, she either dies early on in the film or dies at the end. But she doesn't, she doesn't fare well. She's a little person. These things are all interchangeable, so you can just put Kaecilius' head. Uh, you can put the Zealot's head on any of the other figures if you wanted. Uh, same as you can with Lego minifigures, because that's what they're trying to be, effectively. Right. Should we stay with uh, Doctor Strange, or should we go to... Do all the Doctor Strange. Do all the Doctor Strange first. So here we have the more important, and this one's got an alternative head, so... Ooh, it stayed this time. What is that? What is this thing I've been firing all over? The collection, there's an Avengers collection too. Okay, so there was one for Eddie And a random Spider-Man comic. But yeah. Yes, they did do a few ranges of these. There's a, well, there's a Nightmare Before Christmas set as well. Yep. I've got a couple of them left. Yes, you do. I don't know where they are. Uh, I've got Jack in his pyjamas and I've got Sally. And you've got the Vinnie mate of... And I've got Lydia, yeah, Lydia. from Fatal So here we've got Baron Mordor, uh, who... They couldn't have made it any more obvious that he's going to be the villain in the second I was film, say, was a bit... if they tried. Um, but that is comic accurate, so they were friends and then... So, Baron Mordor, and we have Caecilius, who is the main bad guy in the first film, partnered up with, well, the same main bad guy. Yeah, he was the main bad guy. Dormammu wasn't really a bad guy. He just was a being of infinite power. But his, but his head comes off because he's got. Get out. Has he got the creepy eyes? Get out. You should have made it all, Mama. It wouldn't work in me, pigs. Okay. It's just a big head, isn't it? Yeah. We have a version of Caecilius with the. Uh, creepy eyes. Demon eyes. Uh, where he's. Sold himself over to Dormammu. Let's see if that spare head over there. And good, good, good. Wow. My poor floor. It's covered in all the stuff from your videos, so you can't comment. And the last one. Is the... You have the Ancient One. And she can rounds with all the others. And she even comes with the hood that you see at the Oh no. I've got to take her head off. Because she's got a little hood. The way she's folded it down. And the big hood that you saw at the beginning of the film, and then never again. Is she not attached to properly? No, she is. It's just they don't. No, no she wasn't. So that is the ancient one. Kind of a big deal. And then you have the uh, the main one I wanted. Dr. Stephen Strange with the uh, uh, Cloak of Levitation that I've forgotten the name of. That's going to annoy me. Uh, Not going to lie, I need to Google it if you don't know what it's called. No. Uh, the, the necklace is the Eye of Agamotto. The uh, Cloak of Levitation. No, it's gone. 
Uh, he it's comes. Called the cloak of levitation. It, no, it has a proper name. All of the artifacts have proper names. But he also comes with. Replaceable hands, so his hands will pop off, pop, pop, and be replaced with energy blast hands, which is pretty cool. So let's put all his extra bits to one side because we've got characters that I know a bit more about. Um, We'll start with the Wolverine, uh, the first of the Wolverine minimates, the Weapon X Wolverine. This is basically Weapon X Wolverine. So this Weapon X Wolverine, the Weapon X program is what gave Wolverine his adamantium skeleton and his claws. Uh, during his during that process, they were mind wash, uh, brainwashing him and turning him into a mercenary. And the big mechanical apparatus you see on his head here is part of the simulator uh, mechanics that they were going for. So that was his mind control uh, device. This is. This is from where he escaped. He uh, popped out uh, and went mental. And killed most of the base, apart from uh, Stryker, who was running the base at the time. Oh, it says made a chance. For a second, I thought that was a best before end date on his backside. <laughs> Which would be a bit worrying for Wolverine. So, we've got Weapon X. He annoyingly. I can't believe they had to crowbar him into the last uh, X-Men film. We do also have his normal hair, but I'm not going to put that on. Get on your stand. Feral bastard. Then we have uh, Lady Deathstrike. Um, I can never remember her actual name, so I'm reading the box here. It's uh, Yuriko... Uh, Oyama. Now, Lady Deathstrike. She's got freaky hands. Lady Deathstrike, uh, her dad was involved in creating the adamantium bonding process. So he was one of the original scientists uh, that worked out how to do it. Uh, when he died, she swore revenge on everyone that had stolen his research, recreated it herself. She's got ad those claws are adamantium as well. And she's got she's had a band team infused. And yeah, she's got Wolverine in her sights because he's got the research in him. Uh, um, and then eventually she just goes a bit mad because uh, of Adamantium poisoning. If I remember rightly. It's been a while she's been a very long time since she popped up in the comics. I don't like to stay in hand. These are based on the uh, the cartoon version. She was in the cartoons as well. But, finish it up with this one, that one. These are two lesser known characters. These, unless you're either a comic fan or a, somebody who watched the 90s TV series, the, the, uh, the classic X-Men cartoon series. You might you might not recognise either of these. Oop, hang on. This is a different poster. Okay, so there's lots of series of these. So and even more on the back. I've only seen about half of these. The Guardian? Yep. They're really popular in America, aren't they? They're not so popular. Yeah, so I suppose so. So this big bugger, horrible green 
lump that he is. <laughs> is Mojo. He's got creepy hands too. Yeah. He is an alien. He is the supreme leader of Mojo World. A world where the entire civilization uh, revolves around the TV shows that he creates. Uh, the TV shows that he creates I get ever end up getting ever more violent and then end up in some kind of um, a lot of Corsium like things, uh, extreme battles and things like, like that. Thor Ragnarok. A bit like Thor Ragnarok, but more brutal eventually he comes into because uh, mojo world is in a different dimension and they eventually come into our dimension to steal the x-men and make them stars of the show in order to do that he uses the abilities of spiral with a six armed warrior very proficient with swords, which I won't take out, and energy blasts, but she can also uh, form her energy into the form of portals, so she can she can create the portals that allows them to jump between dimensions. Comics are weird. Very weird. Yeah, but it all makes sense in its own little universe. So yeah, well, Mojo World is controlled by Mojo. She's his second in command. Eventually joins the good guys and helps defeat him. But then something happens and he ends up back in control again. And I'm not quite sure what. But anyway, these are all... I don't know if it's just because it's Diamond that have done it. It's so odd that these all are really detailed in a way that you would not expect of something this small and stylized, to be fair. The fact that they come with interchangeable parts is pretty cool. Uh, it'll just be a case of working out which are the best ones to display. And if I see any more of these in the shop, I'll probably pick them up. But I don't expect to because, like we said, they don't they didn't really do so well over here in the UK. But if you want us to look at any more of these, let us know in the comments which ones you uh, comics comments. Which comments one? on the brain. Yeah. Comments which ones you think I should look at, and I'll see if I can find them cheap. Because, yeah, they, they, they're quite cool, so. Yeah. Go away now.